Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website spirituallyagoli.com for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay. Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, so there's something I see you being really happy about. Hearing like good news. What is this? Nine of Cups, like a wish fulfillment. Four of Wands, okay. So, something that feels like you've been waiting for. This is, I see you celebrating something with people. There's it's like something you've been you've been taking action towards ends up creating stability in your life. Emotionally, I see you feeling emotionally happy and content and just like you have everything that you need. All of your needs are met. Your basic needs, but also um more. And this is something I see you celebrating. I also see you um being really happy about a meeting or visitation. It's like someone goes to someone's house or someone's visiting. Hmm. Yeah, something goes is about to go really well for you. And this is after healing. This is after having doubts about things maybe not happening for you. You feeling kind of stuck or in your head, but now starting to see things more clearly about your your foundation okay so something that you want is here i'm hearing like it's something's actually finally happening certain plans are finally happening um whether that's like going on um, traveling somewhere meeting someone celebrating a career situation it's like something is finally starting to happen plans that you have made are happening now or possibly within this week or the next two weeks and now that you have it, now that you have this, I'm kind of sensing like fears of losing it, you know? It's like once you, f you have something that you've been like fighting for, you've been wanting, now that you have it, you're, you sometimes can almost like come out of character um, or obsess about it too much, obsess about losing what you have worked so hard for losing what's made you really happy or content okay clarify this page of cups okay hmm I see your I see you your head is kind of in the clouds here it's like you're still trying to make a decision about having a passionate new beginning, keeping things fun, keeping things lighthearted, but at the same time without acting too impulsive. I see you like saying to yourself, like, I don't want to be too impulsive or I don't want to act out of impulse. 
um, like not wanting to move too fast. You're seeing the potential of something, but at the same time, you're like, I don't know if this is just potential or if it's reality. It's like you're still trying to figure out what's if there's real potential here. It's like things plans are now finally happening, um, but it feels like it's still just the beginning of these plans happening. Okay, or the beginning of a relationship. Now, okay, I do see you taking your power back into your hands though, and carefully planning, trying to take more control of, of your emotions. I buy this five of swords. The moon, okay. I do get this energy of you trying to hold back or close close yourself off in a way so that you're not getting too attached to, to the idea of a potential. Wholesome is what I'm hearing. I see you like really stepping into a more wholesome version of yourself, a healthier version of yourself, where you are... It's like you're choosing not to be the Lulu about something. Like you can be happy in this moment for what it is, but at the same time, still being realistic and still keeping yourself grounded by this emperor or that could be the advice right now okay huh I feel like you're a very intuitive person that something is like telling you let me plan things out more at this moment Let me observe things, okay? I feel like you're tr you're trying to observe things or you you know a lot more than you say or you're about to pick up a lot more than you say to someone. Like I see you really um, watching someone's actions, someone's behavior before getting too attached to um, this thing. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Someone's making plans here. There is someone in your energy who has like some loyalty to you. But they are slow moving. Clarify this down with pentacles. Okay. In a workplace, someone's about to prove their loyalty to you. In, in, in an environment, in a workplace, someone could be at a distance. Or there's some sort of um, communication coming in that has been slow moving. But I see sudden sudden communication. A sudden sudden offer, sudden arrival from someone. Hmm. You know this energy that you're in, this very wholesome energy <laughs> that you're in. Um someone's obsessing over you. Obsessed. <laughs> Could be connecting to a Capricorn, saying Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um Something about this person. Some of you are looking at at a situation or a person around you. Like, I don't know if this person's just like an F boy, F girl. Like, are they playing games? They're obsessing over you, though. It's like, think of someone on your mind. Let's see. Are they feeling about you, about this situation with you? I feel like you're more relaxed. You're more relaxed than this person is. Like, they're very much, like, thinking about you nonstop. Yeah. You're running through this person's mind. They're, they're feeling things. They're, so, new, new feelings, new emotions. They're feeling love, and they're starting to obsess about it. They're starting to... Um, they're getting nervous. 
see what are this person's intentions, actions, how do they see you, Capricorn? Okay. They want to see you again. They want to make memories with you. They want to reconnect. They want to see you again. Why are they looking at Capricorn as justice reversed? Page of Pentacles. Okay. This person does see you as maybe having your... They see you as feeling like you, you, like you have questions or you want to talk about certain things. They're, they're seeing you as someone who is loyal or someone who is serious, but they're seeing you as like still wanting to gain more clarity or you're still trying to figure out like if they are who they say they are, if they're being honest, if this person is truly um, being authentic or if they are ready for um, a, a connection or relationship or to work with you. It's like you feel like you still have you still need more answers or you still need more time. Clarify this star reverse. Okay. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands. I feel like this person is trying to win you over or they're like obsessing on how to win you over. Yeah, they're obsessing on like, how can I win, how can I win Capricorn over? But this person is low key a little bit crazy though. Like they have a wild side. Hmm. And they're not showing this to you though. Yeah, I feel like you may f you may be closing yourself off for a reason or you feel like you need to observe things more for a reason. Because I see this person is like there's still things that they need to heal within themselves. This person they're like, "Wow, I'm like acting crazy or Capricorn has me acting crazy." For some reason, they're feeling like their efforts are going unappreciated because they feel like you're closing themselves off or you're not answering. And it's like the way that they're coming towards you, though, is still not completely authentic. It's like they, they're coming forward with a mask or this ego. I get a sense this is someone who does maybe get jealous. Five of Wands. Something something about this person is like they they let insecurities like get the best of them. I feel like you know you know when something is off or you you you're you may be picking up on certain red flags or doubts certain vibes you know certain vibes that are just like off about someone and they're saying to yeah really go within and trust that trust it because because they are emphasizing the fact that you have a true wish fulfillment here you have a true wish fulfillment that this person's only going to try to keep you attached to hold you back from this wish fulfillment I'm asking you to um, take some time to maybe isolate think about things go within pull away for a second By this hermit. To 
think about things that you have doubts on. So that way you have all the tools or all the clarity that you need on how to move forward. Clarify this Nine of Cups. Switch the fulfillment. The Magician. Ace of Wands. It's in a new beginning. This wish fulfillment is in a. It's in a new beginning. I'm seeing maybe with a uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm seeing the numbers nine, fifteen, five, nine. Those numbers. They could be birthdays, special days, synchronicities. I'm seeing letters O, B, S, F, T, W, V, G. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.